How the Gravitational Waves Are Discovered Albert Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves almost 100 years ago today. These are ripples in the fabric of space-time that are caused by very violent events in the early universe. Einstein thought, based on what he knew about the world and the technology that was available in 1916, that these ripples would be vanishingly small and almost impossible to find. Over the past 100 years, scientists have learned more about the universe and technology has improved, and gravitational waves have actually been discovered. So let's begin. For the first time ever, scientists in the LIGO Scientific Collaboration, in which MIT and Caltech played a big role, have seen ripples of gravitational waves in a device on Earth. By doing this, they have again proved Einstein's theory of general relativity in a big way and given us a new way to look at the world. Scientists have also translated the gravitational wave signal and found out where it came from. According to their findings, the gravitational wave was made when two very large black holes collided 1.3 billion light years away. This is an extremely rare event that has never been seen before. The signal was picked up by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, which is made up of two devices that were carefully built to pick up the very small vibrations caused by passing gravitational waves. Once the scientists had a gravitational signal, they turned it into sound waves and listened to the sound of two black holes spiraling together and then merging into one bigger black hole. Matthew Evans, an assistant professor of physics at MIT, says, We can actually hear them go thump in the night. We're getting a signal that gets to Earth, and if we put it on a speaker, we can hear these black holes go whoop. There's something very real about this remark. You're actually listening to these things that were thought of as being unimaginable before. By looking more closely at the gravity signal, the team was able to figure out what happened in the milliseconds before the two black holes crashed into each other. They found that the black holes, which were 30 times as big as our sun, circled around each other at close to the speed of light before colliding and releasing a huge amount of energy equal to about three solar masses in the form of gravitational waves. This is what Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, says will happen. Peter Fritschel, who is LIGO's top detector scientist and a senior research scientist at MIT's Kavli Institute of Astrophysics and Space Research, said that most of the energy is released in just a few tenths of a second. For a very short time, the actual power of gravitational waves was higher than the power of all the light in the universe that can be seen. Then, these waves spread out through the universe and changed the way space and time worked. They reached Earth more than a billion years later as faint signs of their violent beginnings. It's a spectacular signal if we actually think about how it all took place. It's a signal that many of us have wanted to see since LIGO was first thought of. It shows how things move in the strongest gravitational fields that can be imagined, a region where Newton's theory of gravity doesn't work at all and where Einstein's fully nonlinear field equations are needed to explain what's going on. The victory is that the answers to these equations give a very good picture of the waveform we measure. Einstein was right in a situation where his theory had never been put to the test. The first proof that gravitational waves exist came in 1974. Scientists Russell Hulse and Joseph Taylor found two neutron stars 21,000 light years from Earth that seemed to move in a strange way. They figured out that the stars were orbiting each other in such a way that they must be losing energy in the form of gravitational waves. This discovery won the researchers the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1993. Fast forward two decades, LIGO had used a device on Earth to make the first direct observation of gravitational waves. The gravitational waves were found on September 14, 2015 at 5.51 a.m. EDT. The researchers used the twin LIGO interferometers in Livingston, Louisiana, and Hanford, Washington to find them. Each L-shaped interferometer is 4 kilometers long and uses two beams of laser light that move back and forth through each arm, bouncing off of carefully placed mirrors. 
As per Einstein's theory, the distance between these mirrors will change by an infinitesimal amount when a gravitational wave goes by the device. Nergis Malvalvola, the Curtis and Kathleen Marble Professor of Astrophysics at MIT, compared it to dropping a rock at the top of a pond and watching the ripples spread out. It's something that messes up space and time around it, and that messed up space and time spreads out until it hits us on Earth hundreds of millions of years later. All in all, a signal did get through. Using Einstein's equations, the team looked at the signal and found that it came from the clash of two very large black holes. The scientists thought it would be a huge challenge to prove to themselves and others that the first few signals that they saw weren't just mistakes or random noise. But nature was so incredibly kind to give them a signal that was very big, very easy to understand, and perfectly in line with Einstein's theory. So, what fascinates you the most about how gravitational waves are discovered? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more.